You compare black people to a monkey eating a banana? Today in Everything is Racist, this is front page at BuzzFeed, okay? So let me give you how they presented this. They presented it as though people were furious over a video that appears to show the chain smokers, uh, a, a band, I believe, joking about Chinese people eating dogs. Now, first, this came from BuzzFeed. They say outrage, you can see some of the tweets, but how much outrage, it, it wasn't like it was a trend. You know what I mean? Right. If it's a top trend, you, you have to address mm -hmm. it because it's part of the zeitgeist here. It's just BuzzFeed says outrage, and you, you kind of take their word for it. But they I do, do think lot. this is, yeah. All the time. I think yeah. it's a good jumping off point because yeah. if you look at some of the tweets that they included, oh, how dare you make fun of China in China? This is really yeah. insensitive. Here's the thing. Uh, after a very, and I mean very brief Google search, <laughs> it was revealed to me that they do eat dogs in China. Oh my god! Like a lot. So much so that they even have a dog meat festival. So this is important to note where people are, are, are saying this is offensive, how dare you? When they're saying how dare you, what they mean is reality. This is what they do. Well, while we find this idea heinous, obviously eating one's pet, they celebrate it with fireworks and a festival in China. I think we actually have exclusive footage from the most recent dog meat festival. Oh, me so hungry. Oh, oh me so hungry. <laughs> so much that, worse than in writing. That, that may have been the line. No, 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 look no. behind you. <laughs> so this is one thing that, that has really bothered me for a while because <clears throat> I, I remember getting this speech when I was in college. It was part of our humanities uh, course. And you can you know, comment below as to if you think it's outrageous to point out that Chinese people eat dogs or what Not Gay Jared just did if you think that that's you know, past the line. But I remember we had this exercise in philosophy. It was humanities. I don't know if it was philosophy 101, some kind of humanities course where they're saying, well, what makes it okay for you to judge, you know, someone eating dogs? So what, what makes you, you're looking at it through your culture. We eat pigs and other cultures, they're seen as domesticated animals. And, and the message was, it's never fair to judge another culture through your cultural lens. They've been teaching this for a long time, but then they get offended when you say the thing that they said, don't, don't judge them on. You would, yeah. you, you point out that they do <laughs> because they're assuming that it's bad. Assu they're assuming that it's offensive. <laughs> By the way, you know who's not offended when you say, hey, Chinese people eat dog? All the people of China. <laughs> this is the don't judge a culture because they're different philosophy, followed by immediate hypocrisy. And l l let me give you some examples. Let's go back to Asians, because we've already crossed that because barrier. Why not? <laughs> so we, we've covered these in the site. There have been plenty of articles complaining about the stereotypical link of Asians with uh, martial arts. So kind of like the same thing right now. With it's it's a stereotypical link that Asians eat dogs, that Chinese people eat dogs. But then progressives came out and accused white people of cultural appropriation for doing martial arts. <laughs> so it's, it's a moving target where, listen, reality is offensive, and then uh, once you actually start taking part in this reality that we've wanted you to deny, now we're going to accuse you of being racist, which, let's go to another example. Okay, listen, let's just, let's just be frank here. When you think of black people, okay, what's one of the negative stereotypes? What do a lot Watermelon. of comedians joke no about? Idea. Watermelon is one. I mean, or I can't think of any. Soda. Stop it. Come on. <laughs> Kool-Aid. Fr <laughs> Fried chicken. Fried chicken. Oh. Yeah. You just were trying to go down the list because Jared's committing, what? He's Jared's committing say cultural appropriation <laughs> sepulchre. Yeah, but he's going to say 20 of them. I'm going to say one and you're going to grill me over it's it. true. <laughs> it is true. There's no, a one left, there's no one watching the program at this point anyway. So, so. This is, you know, where it's, they've been saying one of the most classically sort of offensive, right? Black people and right. fried chicken. It's offensive. Right. You can go, it goes back even to Full Metal Jacket, right? You're, you're not supposed oh, to talk yeah. about this. NPR's written articles about it. People have marched in the street. Comedians have been protested. But now, if white people just happen to eat fried chicken, it's, it's cultural appropriation. <laughs> Here's from the article. Fried chicken, collard greens, baked macaroni, cheese, fried fish. These mm. food chains are making millions by producing typical food from the African-American culture for the masses. Parentheses, mostly white people. <laughs> well, white people fried? do tend to make up the masses. <laughs> fried <laughs> fish? How did that become? Well, yeah, it's a soul was, food thing. I thought that was a universal thing. It, you know, at, it, at what point? <laughs> we like it. Yeah. It's tasty. People used to be recognized for their culture. Yeah. I know we had cultural week in the most liberal school I could possibly imagine on the south shore of Montreal, Centennial Regional High School, and 90% of it was just people bringing in food. Yeah, so mm -hmm. if, if I just, if I happen to like scotch, is, am I now culturally appropriating the Scottish people? Like, they're known for that, it's okay. Well, I guess, but the Chinese probably feel left out. <laughs> they're trying to make their own scotch. Well, you go with the retriever. I'm gonna move on down the next cultural fair table. <laughs> There's a Polish man with some pierogies. I think I'll roll the dice with those, <laughs> Mr. Chen. So let's go to even more recently. 
Uh, Arabic culture, of course, we talked about this this week. Aladdin, they've complained that there's a white person was cast in Aladdin. But if you go back, they also complained that Aladdin itself was negatively stereotyping (laughs) Arabic culture. (laughs) Even though, by the way, he was sent to a Chinese tailor in the original one. No dogs were eaten. You just gotta realize they do not want you to win. That's the game. They no, want you to play their yeah. game. It's moving goalposts, and the goalposts, it can also include just reality. By the way, these are the same people <laughs> yeah. who want us to tear down monuments for fear of offending people, whether it's Confederacy monuments or George Washington. There have been proposals for that. So, of course, they're gonna say that it's racist to point to anyone else's. Uh, 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 cultural history, like China's one-child policy, leading to the countless murders of young girls, Ooh. including, by the way, uh, mass drownings. You know, listen, uh. that's the kind of kind of messed up on that one. Wait, some room, Oh my God. Um, <laughs> please, please subscribe. These are the same, please subscribe. <laughs> please stay subscribed. What's, these are the same people who claim that pointing out real cultural differences. Right, uh, is is racist. So pointing yeah. out that listen, they eat dogs in China. That's racist. Pointing out that yeah. there are certain foods that are more popular in Black culture. And where does yeah. it? By the way, it doesn't just come out of nowhere. And this is the problem because there are actual racists out there. Okay, and it's important to delineate. But saying, hey, culturally. Black people tend to eat this, th- th- these kinds of food because it, it comes from being back in the deep south. It does come sometimes from roots in slavery and the kinds of foods that they would eat back then and they've carried it down. As a matter of fact, if you look at white southerners, they have more in common with black Americans than probably anyone else in the country. There's a lot of the same lingo. There's yeah. a lot of the same slang. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of the same kind of uh, food and beverages that they drink. The beauty is, listen, when you just acknowledge cultural differences, when you accept reality that there are cultural differences, sometimes they can actually serve to bring people together go figure i actually enjoy fried chicken and i'm appreciating their culture not appropriating it okay we didn't say it was their culture you just did see that's the race this is the real racist i'm talking about i thought was going to happen when i spoke up again these are the same (laughs) people silent for a minute over here they get so (laughs) mad when you acknowledge reality and then they they then they create racism and when I say they, yes, I do mean the regressive left. I know people, why do you do the left-right paradigm? Because it, just shut up, okay? <laughs> There's no one on the right who is going out accusing yeah. you of being racist or trying to get you fired because you say they eat dogs in China. They have a dog-eating festival. There's no one you can find in the moderate to right wing who will start a march over that, okay? It's not going to happen. <laughs> but then the left finds racism where it doesn't exist. Like this infamous story, we covered it on the website, lateralwithcredit.com, where the banana peel oh in gosh. the tree, it, I think it started at Washington Times, <laughs> yes. it was confused for a hate crime. <laughs> This story, to create a safe somebody, space immediately. We didn't have a trash can. Yeah. <laughs> it took me like five read-throughs that article, j- just to, I, genuinely, just to make the connection until I realized Oh, liberals assume that everyone else is comparing black people to apes. Therefore, a banana peel is something that would be appealing to an ape. So they're racist. It didn't even occur to me. I would never walk no. across a banana peel. I'd walk across and I'd probably think of the Three Stooges. I would probably think of an old vaudevillian actor. Maybe someone Mario would the was coming peel. through there with yeah. his go-kart. It is mm. remarkable to me. They find racism where it doesn't exist and try to copy-paste it to other people who genuinely, when we read the news articles, it never occurred to us even when you told us that it should. And then we say, well, hold on, hold on a second. Oh, okay, so you think everyone else is making that comparison. So maybe you're the racist. Wait. You compare black people to a monkey eating a banana? That's f***ed up! (laughs) Blame Breakfast at (laughs) Tiffany's and Mickey Rooney. That is that man's legacy, and I will honor it. Hey, did you like this video? Of course you did. Unless there's something wrong with you. In which case, you can comment below. What's your problem with this video? We want to hear from you, and we promise you 100%, I give you, my word is my bond, will answer every single negative comment. Uh, For those who are normal, you can leave a thumbs up and subscribe.